Missions. The Civilian Space Exploration Team, known as CSXT, was a team of around 30 civilians, all interested in private spaceflight, back in July 2014. The team had actually set new records for the highest and fastest amateur rocket ever launched into inner space, and it still holds to this very day, by the way. So almost 10 years later, and this particular year was a very big year for an awakening process too. So was that all a coinkydink? Well, this is why I think we all need a little reminder of this, or if you haven't seen it, well, maybe it's going to be one of the most scariest real videos you may see of your entire life. Much better than any ghost or paranormal channel, or upload if that's your thing. So only two amateur rockets to have reached the 70 plus mile mark, well, three really, but we'll get to that later. Two for now have been the CSXT's Go Fast Rockets. So the one of 2014, analysis of the data from the recovered military grade inertial measurement unit, the IMU, that flew on board shows that the GF rocket reached an altitude of 385,800 feet, directly straight up. Not curved into the ocean somewhere out of the public attention, but straight up. Hitting a maximum top speed, 3,580 mile an hour to 73 miles, and then suddenly coming to a complete stop hitting something depending on what video you're going to be watching of this of course due to the very clever editing from certain powers it be it also shows the earth to be completely flat with the horizon at eye level most importantly and since reaching the 73 mile mark it's all gone very very quiet from the CSXT team Remember folks, the whole point of the heliocentrism is to abolish the creation creator from your creative mind. But here we will nourish it and feed it the right seeds. No other rocket, amateur or professional, has ever gotten to this height by the way, and will never be allowed to again, may I remind you. NASA and all the others have been going sideways into so-called space for decades. And in the words of the uh, NASA man himself, as you can clearly see, the only words he would ever have on this, well, it says it all. But unless you can fund this, of course, NASA made Musk a billionaire because he did the same thing many, many years ago. And he was really number one, but he was a young man with a pyrotechnic dream, not a whole team and the internet to work with, but we best not talk about that. But this is the part, friends, of the upload. Only you decide what you believe or what you won't believe because this rocket does come to a very abrupt stop at Mach, like nearly five, 4.7 Mach, 73 miles up. So as you're about to watch to make up your own mind, this is gonna be the unedited version of the GoFast rocket of 2014, suddenly coming to a complete stop at 73 miles.
A minute is all it takes and goes no further whatsoever as it would of if it could because there's no such an outer space. There isn't. No one has been able to give a complete explanation as to why a rocket moving at almost Mach 5 comes to a complete stop like it was somehow cushioned on, on an impact. It's, it's so strange and it reminds me of another upload from the Blue Planet which was years ago as it's the water lake at the deep sea bottom by Mike DeGruy from the BBC. As above, so below. The waters above and the waters below. The truth is there is only inner space that's been created for us to live under. So it's then after a few seconds of being stopped, the rocket then releases its booster because it can't go no further up. And that's it folks, flat out. The sky's had its limit. The end of the ether, we're on the level. We got there in five minutes flat. Well, 55 seconds flat. <laughs> All other rocket attempts will try and replicate this with fisheye lenses, even more editing techniques, very, very clever coming to a stop or all NASA footage is edited and it's never a constant free run of footage, a constant live feed or stream. There's always gaps and blackouts and this clever ed ed editing is it's, it's brilliant. But not in this 2014 Go Fast Rocket video. It's unedited as it always will be when it comes to the truth. They don't want you to find this out. It's, it's, it's all a lie and it's forced mind control but none will dare achieve this firm altitude again, unless you want to bring down the glass ceiling, that is. So 73 miles, vertical miles, straight up, seems to be the point of the Truman Show that we're under. The dome, the firmament, the rickia, the molten looking glass, the fishbowl, and thus 63,000 miles in circumference, and we've got home sweet home the real inner space, the creation that we all live under. If you do fear ordinary people judging you, well, what do you think the Lord's going to do? And it's he that holds all the keys and all the glory in heaven above. Please remember this. Realize, realize, realize. You take care.